how to reset or retrieve a password for Durrani uh, NVR or camera. Uh, first off, the NVR or camera must be registered to your cloud account, uh, meaning when you first signed up and created an account with the Durrani IP Viewer app, you have scanned the QR code on the actual NVR and registered that to your account. If that's been done, uh, then you can quickly go ahead and reset the password. So first of all, you go, you're just going to need the serial number of the device. So that can be found on the uh, bottom of the NVR. There is a, a sticker on the bottom and that will have the device serial number. It will start with 2102. Uh, so that there, or from the menu of the NVR, if you select forget device password, that will display the serial number of the device as well. So if you've got that ready, uh, just need to open up the Durrani IP Viewer app. And from here, select the three lines up the top left-hand corner. Once you've done that here, we just go into local config. And from the local config screen, we'll see forget device password. So we can just select that there. So once you forget device password, just select OK from this screen here. And that will bring up a scanner on the phone for you. So what you're going to need to do, we need to manually enter this serial number. So down the bottom here, we have the right button. So we can select that there. And that will bring up the option to enter the serial number. So first and most important is to make sure that your date and time is correct. Because the codes that get generated are only valid for the day that you actually create it. So when you're looking at your NVR, you'll see it written on the cameras. Uh, you'll be able to see the time and date up there as well. If you're unsure if it's been set correctly, just make sure that matches it there. And then just entering the device serial number. So once you've put that in, just selecting OK. And that there will generate for you a password. So from the home screen of your NVR, when you've selected forget device password, this is the one that you're going to need to enter. Now these are case sensitive, so if it's lowercase or uppercase, make sure that they do match. Uh, it does matter when you're entering the code, just to make sure you get it right. So once you've entered that temporary password, you'll be asked to enter a new one. Uh, you do need to enter a strong password. So just have a look down the bottom of the screen there where you'll see uh, the requirements. So just go ahead and enter a new password, something that you will remember. Um, recommend obviously writing this down and keeping it safe somewhere for future reference. And once that's been entered, it will ask you just to confirm. So you make sure that it's a strong password and just have to confirm and enter. And that there will change that password and you're ready to go with your new NVR password.